When I talk with CISOs, a lot of times what they're asking, whatever I, I come to them with, they're, they're saying, hey, okay, your solution is great. What are the two or three things you're gonna turn off? Uh, because we can't deal with the number of vendors that we have, uh, the number of solutions we have. We've got to consolidate to a platform that allows them to do multiple things. Uh, so we can do API protection on top of the application protection, also do bot management, and do layer 7 DDoS uh, in a single point of glass. I can think of one of our clients that's really benefiting from ThreadX WAP++. We brought on a thousand applications in 72 hours for one of our clients and right into blocking mode. Those types of stories were at best PowerPoint slides in the industry. People are selecting the ThreadX WAP++ for a multitude of reasons. Uh, one of the big reasons is the ease of implementation. So it's a Docker container with a reverse proxy. So we can go into any environment in literally minutes and hours. So simplicity of deployment is a big reason. Second is the fact that it is a platform. So it's allowing them to do application protection, API protection, bot management, and DDoS all on a single platform. So they're able to look at what are the things that they can turn off as they deploy us. And the last thing is our backend infrastructure, our application as a service. So our layer seven SOC experts are there to support them and be an extra set of hands to allow them to really look at all applications. CISO should care about WAP++ because it really fulfills one of the things that they've been thinking about, and that is a way to protect all their applications, not just the crown jewels. The ThreadX WAP++ allows them a way to bring on all their applications easily in minutes, hours, days, not weeks, months, years.